Hey everyone, see Wall Boats out here with another episode of Trauma Team. Our special guests. Caleb. And that is it. Um, we're gonna continue in investigation on this. Hey little guy, can you tell me anything bomber. about this? Yes, the raging bomber. I collected it from the wall of the room the explosion happened in. So. Yep, it's a piece of steel pipe. The chromatographic scan shows traces of black powder. The powder was used as the explosive propellant. Hmm. It's Yes, it's likely the same situation that occurred with Aiden's. The analyses show that the powder and the metal are exactly the same as those found in Aiden's bombing. <laughs> I see. I get the feeling that this will work with something else that we know. Uh, an, uh the clue. Give him the guitar before you continue, though. Little guy, are you a music aficionado at all? Uh-huh. Why? Well, I know bits and pieces. Hmm. Maybe you might not know either. I need you to analyze this guitar. Oh, this thing's pretty nasty. Holy... What's with you? Dr. Kimishima, where did you find this? Wait, more importantly, how did this happen to her? Her? It was in the victim's room. Stevens, that is. Then the, the neck was broken in the explosion? Probably, yes. Son of a bitch. <coughs> the raging bomber's gonna pay... Oh, hey, calm down. What's wrong? I... I... I it belonged to musical legend Ben Frank. Look, it's the 1955 Dagmite model. Ugh. I don't understand. Is that instrument valuable? It's beyond valuable. Finding this is, is a miracle. Normally, I'd have it sent to the museum immediately for safekeeping, but... Oh, damn it. <laughs> um... Oh, what? Doesn't this get to you, Doctor? Mm, no, not really. I mean, it's a broken guitar. Oh, you don't understand. Listen to me. It would go for seventy to eighty thousand dollars. I wouldn't be surprised if bids went over a hundred grand. That's impressive. <sighs> now it's personal. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Dr. Kimishima, we have to oh this bastard. I mean, this killer behind bars. Yes. Well, I agree. Huh. In any event, a guitar worth more than a hundred thousand dollars. That's not the kind of thing an ordinary student would be able to afford. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should have him look at it, once he's calmed down a bit. Let's see, what else can I do? These pieces of metal were found at both Aiden's and Stephen's deaths. Material analysis showed that both pieces were chemically identical. That means... Soda can. Yes. Just glue, 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 it's quite glue. likely that both pieces were cut from common steel pipes. There's something else we discovered about the metal fragments. That is. Uh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Indeed. Black powder was used as the propellant for both explosions. The same components, the same metal casing. The bombs in these cases are the same type of explosive. So, let's see. There is something we can deduce using this. The raging bomber is believed to have been responsible for four of the two cases that I've been investigating, the third and fourth victims. Both bombs were made of a metal pipe and used black powder. Also, the wounds on the victims have another similarity. That is. Yes. The wounds on the bodies help us determine the strength of the explosions. It turns out that both corpses had almost the exact same wounds. Materials, propellants, power. They all power. point to the idea that the two bombs were virtually identical. Another similarity in the two cases is the victim's distance from the bomb. Both Aiden and Stephen had been... Uh, very close. Yes. Both of them were very close to the bombs when they went off. Same bomb, same delivery method. This all draws us to a logical conclusion that... Made by the same person. Da -da -da -da. Wow, solid evidence, heck yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Indeed. It seems safe to think that these two murders were the work of the same person. <laughs> What's the dead? 
Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? Yes, of course. Can you take a close look at this guitar? Of course. I am a professional after all. I can be impartial. Please do, then. What can you tell me about it? There's not much I can say other than... Oh, wait a moment. Found something? Yes. It looks like this guitar was played by someone other than Ben Frank. Hmm, so what does that mean? Is the guitar a fake? No, of course not. The scratches, the wear, everything says it's the real deal. But Ben Frank is right-handed, and this guitar has been said to be played by someone who's left-handed. Yeah. The guitar's set for a left-handed player? The difference between right and left-handed guitars is... Uh, the... oh gosh. The strings orders, isn't it? Yes, the string order is you know that, depending course. on the dominant yeah. hand. You always put the, um... Is it the thicker one at the top? The thicker string is the one that's closest to your head, while the thinner ones are closer to the floor? I'm surprised you knew that, Dr. Kimishima. When the thinner strings are on the right, it's for right-handed players. It's the opposite for left-handers. Hmm. <laughs> The fourth victim owned this guitar. I doubt that he would lend his $100,000 guitar to anyone else. That makes it likely that Stephen Eldred was... Mm -hmm. Which we already knew that because of... Yes. Yep. Or at least we knew it. Left hand. Game it. Right. So now we can put those together, probably. These two may lead us yep. to learn something new. The third victim, a the callus on his palm is proof of his dominant arm. That would mean he was... Right. Can you can third hand. Correct. The fourth victim, yeah. his guitar, tells us that would be his... It's telekinetic. <laughs> yes. The guitar had been strung for a left-handed player. The famous musician so they're using the dominant hand. To what are they right doing to get too close to something? If anyone were a to change the strings, open. it would be thus we can reason we that Stephen Eldridge was himself left hand. I wonder if this difference will be any help in this investigation. Or if they've lead someone delivering it and signing off on something. If there was carbon dust on like the sign off paper. Ah, true. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I think these may help if both the third and fourth victims had carbon mm -hmm. dust on their fingers, but the locations of the dust are the major difference between because them. On the other hand, we learned about a difference between the two victims had different dominant hands. From these two facts, we can tell that the carbon dust was... Yeah. All that was heck yeah. Indeed. It was on each victim's dominant hand. I think we've gotten a little closer to figuring out the meaning behind the carbon dust. The computer chair. Computer chair or the um, actual computer seat. You can like, get into the computer. Hmm. Could this be the computer? That the, this may still have some input. Let's power it up and see. Oh, right. Is that the only thing you didn't do? The screen isn't turning on. It's not accepting any input either. Could it be broken? Take it to the little goo. Little goo. Little goo. Little goo goo. One little thing. Most obviously, there's something in the electronic piece. It takes is another perspective. Hey, little guy. The computer won't boot up? It was in an explosion. That doesn't really matter as long as we can. True. Yeah. Huh. Wait a second. Did you find something? Yes. The computer's fine. It's not starting up because it's locked. Is there any way to unlock it? Well, we could yeah. try to force our way in, though there's a chance it'll wipe itself and we'll lose the data. It seems the victim was using voice authentication software. Voice and we don't have his voice. So it'll only start up using the owner's voice. Yes, but. So it'll never start up again. Wow, okay. That was really fast, hard evidence. 
Dr. Kimishima? What man? Who are you? Oh, uh, Michael Lang. Hero. So that is a real company. Is that his real name? Yes, though what he does is barely considered legal. Huh. If that's the case, is there the slightest chance that he's the bottom? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Please listen to it when you have time. <sighs> well, we Even if he isn't the culprit, he can at least tell us more. There's no reason to not listen to what he had to say. some investigating into the victim as well. You mean Stephen Eldred? So what right. was he doing to get money? He doesn't fit the pattern of the previous bombing victim. For example... <laughs> right. He's the only one who wasn't particularly well He's making a lot of money, Why would the though. bomber target him at all? If we can figure out why, I think we'll see a great deal of progress in this case. There's more to it than that, though. The victim himself made some unanswered questions. According to Michael Lang, the man from the loan and taxes, Stephen was a hundred thousand dollars in debt. The reason for that is five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Pay for his way though. That's a likely possibility. The value and the amount he owes fit together. Still. How can an ordinary student get such a substantial loan? The reason must be because... Mm. That sounds right, but it sounds... Yeah, okay. That's the only reason you would give it. Indeed. There was a deposit made to his account. A large one, of unknown origin. That was why the loan shark accepted his means of repaying the debt. This led to Stephen being loaned the hundred thousand dollars. The more we investigate, the cloudier the truth gets. Uh, Dr. Kimishima? Can you hear me? Hmm, I'm listening. What is it? I've asked for another recording from HQ. A recording of what? That revolutionary guy. I thought it might be of some use to us. I ordered a copy of the announcement he made before Aiden Posner was killed. I see. I'll check it out. Oh, right. So the previous statement. Did anything strike you as odd? Odd? Odd like how? Oh, maybe I'm just imagining things. It just seems strange to me. Huh. I didn't notice anything. All right. I'll listen to it again and pay close attention. Hmm. So let's see what was interesting. Hey, 
for it, Castle. Doesn't matter anyway, though. You'll never catch me. I mean, that singer. Here's a little hint. Next up is an athlete. Who? Well, I can't tell you. Think about it yourselves. And. And. Oh. Um, yes, this is the place. It sounds like he was rushed at the end of his statement. I wonder why. I wonder what was happening. We need to figure out what was going on at that moment. It's kind of hard to know, but let's go from here and see. Hey, little guy. It does seem like something caught his attention and he wanted to finish quickly. Hmm, why would he do that? Desk? There's no way to prove those, though. We need evidence of some kind. Well, let's check the spectrogram of the recording. Mm. I'll put emphasis on the background and reprocess it to make background noise easier to hear. Hmm. Yes, that would be helpful. Send me the revised recording when you're done. All right. You'll find the data in the recorder. Good. Let's listen to it again and be aware for anything going on in the background. You hear that? Anything in the background? These are so hard. So go right to seven. sound as Stephen Eldred's phone. What does that mean, though? Why is the fourth victim's phone heard in the background of the revolutionary's threat? On the... for the third victims, not for the fourth at the time. Is he a repairman? Or is he getting info? On a message... To those. Stephen Eldred, the there fourth victim, had been periodically receiving large. The voice we hear in the recording of the revolutionary was not a distinctive sound, like the victim's phone can be heard in the background of the recording. Hmm. The sense. most likely answer we can deduce from these facts. Um. Max. All right, so we got one thing down. Hmm, that's right. He was the revolutionary. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. If he was revolutionary... Little guy, I'm borrowing the recorder. Huh? Where are you going, Dr. Kirsch? He can... She can get into the computer room. if that is actually his voice. Yeah, that's what she's probably doing right now. The analysis says this computer should be voice activated. It used to belong to the fourth victim who lived here. If that person so is that how he's getting his money? Like pretending to be the revolutionary? So it's true. Also, I like that it's the company's name um, for the computer that's made this game. Made it this far. <laughs> Thanks for double text. Show yourself, raging bomber. Yeah, I am. I'm the Joker, baby. Wait, did you type that or? Oh. Okay. 
I don't remember anything about this. I remember. Round two. So there's your No need. Okay. So he knows it's her. Either he can see from where he is or he's just being He got me. The bomber's someone else. Uh, oh, what do you mean? We've got to start the investigation over from scratch. Uh -huh. Tell headquarters not to let their guard down. Ugh, I've been completely fooled. How could I let this happen? It could happen to anyone. Heck, I didn't realize it until the very end, so I mean... Oh, no. Not her. What? She's Hello, Nobi. It's me. Yes. Hello, everything. Melissa. Wait, no, she's the bomber. What's wrong? You don't look happy. Did something happen? No. <sighs> it's nothing. I'm all right. Really? Come on. I'm your friend. I gotta help you out. Thank you. You're a very kind little girl. The next one. Look in the next image. Excuse me, can I bother you for a moment? Of course. How may I help you? Do you know where I can drop a delivery for Dr. Kimishima? We don't know her, their gender. No. I'm Kimishima. We just know the voice it. of who they hired to play as the revolutionary. Really? Perfect timing. Here's your package. Here's a package. Gabe? I wonder if it's the test results. Can you sign here, please? This is pretty low-tech. What happened to the digital pads? I'm sorry, mine's broken right now. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> Did you get something? Who's it from? Yes, it's from a friend of mine. <laughs> wow! Look, look, Naomi! A big-tastic teddy bear! <laughs> big it's so cute! That's right. But why would he send me this? Okay. Good luck with your investigation. Carbon dust? <gasps> Don't tell me. Alyssa? Alyssa! 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 Dr. Kimishima! No, stay down! Let go of me! She... It's my fault! Music, though. That's where we're going to stop it right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. This is not okay. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> oh.